Hey guys, and welcome back to Big Pharma. So, we're back in one of, one of my uh, most enjoyed games, I've got to say. It's one of the games that I, I really enjoy playing in general. I mean, not like I don't enjoy any of them, but I mean, Big Pharma is the one that I look forward to recording every day. Uh, right, where did we get to? We were trying to get the sickle cell anemia. Let's uh, just play it for a sec. Oh, that's why, because it hadn't been named. Uh, okay, we've got reduced stroke risk. Uh, Stejo's <laughs> Stejo's stroke S suppressor. Stupid! No, I can't. I can't add stupid before it. Yeah, it's just gonna be Stejo's st stroke. Stejo's stroke suppressor is what it's gonna be called. Right, let's get a wee pause and let's see exactly what we're supposed to be doing. So our company is doing that is sh shockingly bad. Let's just say that um, the cure rating is actually pretty freaking good, but the profit's just terrible bad. Uh, our pre-pregnancy preventative has been punted, so let's get rid of that. Our perfect, perfect pure pre-pregnancy preventative pill is doing pretty pants as well. Our angina cure is. Very bad. Jeez. This stroke risk thing though, that's a decent profit on it. And then what we need to do is we need to look at the next cure. So we need to go from stroke risk to curing combat and sickle cell anemia using a chromatograph. Chromatograph? Chromatograph. People always... People from other countries always give me any trouble because whenever I'm speaking I'll uh, miss out T's and words just do my accent. Chromatograph. Chromat. Uh, 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 it's like guttural. Uh, chromatograph. Maybe I should. Uh, I should focus on my T's. The teeth, the tongue, the something in the lips, something like that. the tip of the tongue, the teeth in the lips. That's it. Can freaking remember that. Jeez. The tip of the tongue, the teeth in the lips. Right. What are we doing? I'm just sitting here. My brain's a bit fuzzy. I haven't even had any alcohol yet. Maybe that's my problem. Hmm. Right, we'll try to get the chromatograph. And we're getting advanced delivery. That's good. We've got one little douche nozzle here just waiting. Uh, try to get his points. That's fine. I'm happy enough with that. Uh, I've got the analyzer. Someone asked me if I could use that. I used it in one of the previous episodes. Someone asked me if I can use an analyzer because I keep researching it and not using it. That's because we don't need to use it, but... I used it quite extensively, I think, in the last episode to try and get things um, up to the points. You can piss off, because I know what I'm doing. Um, right. What are we doing? We're buying that so we don't freaking hem hemorrhage anymore. Moolah is what we're doing. Because I'm going to need that when we get up to the... When we actually research the chromatograph. Chromatograph. We're grabbing the multimexer so that we can do uh, a couple of extra doohickeys. So we're going to need the multimixer so that we can get this here agglomerated. Uh, do we have painkiller and soothe rash? Is that a thing? We do not have painkiller nor soothe rash. So I mean that's possible if we want to try and earn some cash. In the meantime, we could research painkiller and soothe rash to earn some cash. Hmm. How are we losing so much dough? We, yep, I've punted all of these guys. It's uh, my researchers that are costing me so much money. Uh, let's upgrade that. So we're getting a bit more moolah. It's only three bucks per pill, but when I'm supplying this amount of pills, it's uh, a decent amount. Right, I want to look at this because someone asked me. Okay, so you can get an evaporator, it costs 10 per process, and it does it three times. Yeah, see, that's why you use three dissolvers instead of an ionizer, because it's five cheaper overall. Hey, we've got the multi-mixer. Fantastic. I'm not going to get the shaker, I'm just going to keep these guys sitting. Probably do with the shaker, but I'll probably do with the points a bit more. Well, there we go. We'll just start bumping up everything in points. To try and reduce our deficit. Unfortunately, yes, that's making us a lot of money, but it's not making us... One, it's not making us the money every turn. And two, it's not making that much money. 
That one's making me 92 bucks, that's pretty decent. I'm happy with that. That one's only making me 23 bucks. Why is that? It's got a cure rating of D. It's got a cure rating of the D. That is a Willy Warwax. So... What do you expect, you know what I mean? Uh, inflamed skin we can remove. Constipation, we could evaporate this one more time and see if we can get any better, but I think that's, yeah, that's a good cure rating anyway. It's just because the raw material is so goddamn expensive. We've got another two points, so let's bump them in each of those, and that should stop us hemorrhaging quite as much cash. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter. Because I can always just take one of these ridiculous loans to get to where we need to be. Unfortunately, that means if we get this chromatograph, but if that takes like 10 of these guys, we're going to need to take a loan just to hire them. Which is upsetting, but meh. Right, what I probably should do is get a loan and... The thing is, man, that's so much extra money for that loan. Uh, I'm trying to think of the best way to play this right now. I mean, we need to... We can't win without getting all of this done. Let's have a little look at our production and see what one's going to cause us the most. One, two, one, two, three. Uh, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, four, five. Uh, what about ionizers? Six, uh, nine. Yeah, it looks like it's ionizers. Mm, yeah, it looks like it's ionizers and agglomerators are going to be the uh, the mainstay of our pointage. So let's. Do that. Nope, not that. I want specialist processing. We need six people on it. So we need to do that for eight months. Is this even possible? Yeah, we've got three years. It is possible. Right, fast forward. And what we can do is we can do like, we can just buy a massive area and do maybe a couple of them. Oh, I increase it. Oh, wow. For concentration between 110, increase it by 10. 11 and 20 decreased it by 10. So we need to work out exactly what we need to do with this. It needs to be between 14 and 17. Ah, right, okay. Doesn't matter then. We're kind of stuck. Okay, that's fine. The main thing is, we don't need to do anything special with it. So we don't need to multi mix or anything like that. How many turns does that take? Oh, it doesn't tell me. Boom. Alright, let's bump up the agglomerator and save us some cash. May I actually be able to get... Oh, that's over 200 bucks profit now. How much are these going for? It's still quite expensive. I really don't care about any of that. Does make any sense to get any of it? I need to know how much that chrom chromatograph is going to cost me. 47 in the hole. But this isn't a, it isn't a mission about earning X amount of cash or anything, so I'm not too bothered about being in a hole. What is the cure rating to be on that? I reckon if we took that down by one. Why? Right, why am I doing that? Right, I do that, and then that puts that into reduces stroke risk. Which is 10 to 15. And then I do that to remove the... Annoyingly, in order to fix my fuck up, I would need to. I would need money. <laughs> Lame! Yeah, I, I shouldn't be doing that. I should just be printing that straight. And we get a better. Uh, 
we get a better result, but I'd need to take a loan. As soon as I take a loan, I'll remove that. And try to get ourselves underway. A single point. Yeah, without making any more, we're, we're not going to get into positive cash. We've got 15 months left on the loan. As soon as the loan's away, we'll be making positive cash, but... So how much is that a day? 243. Well, we'll be making positive cash every other day. <laughs> Just because these guys are so expensive, that's all. Uh, let's go with the Dissolver, I think, is the next one. And then Evaporator. Then Pill Printer. Actually, Pill Printer, I'm not sure what one's better, the Pill Printer or the Evaporator. Probably the Pill Printer, to be fair. Uh, I'm kind of annoyed that I've done that now, that's, um, that's a big mess up. Actually, I should probably reduce the price of these things. How much do they reduce by? Uh, you. A fiver? Eh, probably not. We're only using two of them. So, I mean, it's still better than... Yeah, we're only using two of them, and it's two different ones as well. If it was both the same, then it would make sense. But, uh, unfortunately it's not. What I don't get about these agglomerators is... This little guy sitting taking notes, but this thing here is going automatically. Why is there not a wee guy just going boop, boop, boop? Um, someone was actually saying... And one of my comment in the comments section for one of these videos, um, they said, "Like, does it not get boring the fact that the the game like completely restarts every different scenario?" I was like, "Yeah, it does." It, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. It really doesn't. I just fucking backtrack straight off of that. The game doesn't get boring when um, the fact that you're resetting because there's always something different to do and it's like different ingredients and different cures, etc. Something I would like to see though, and I might email the devs about this, is. Make the game like Off-World Trading Company. Like, make it so that... Because right right now in the game, your AI, the, like, your enemies, in parenthesis, don't really do much. I mean, yeah, okay, they, they make their own cures and it competes with yours a little bit. I don't... This is just from my experience playing with the game. Once we get into the harder scenarios, it may be completely different and I may be way off, pa uh, way off base with this. But, uh... I would like to see you be able to buy out these other companies and I don't know it'd be I think it would be nice if they were on the same map as you so if the maps were bigger and they were buying little sections and you saw them building their own little things so you could kind of see what drugs they were going towards and stuff I think that'd be pretty cool I don't know if they would be able to do that. this is probably an awful lot of work but uh, but yeah just the ability to buy out your rival companies I thought it would be pretty fun and having stock prices and stuff because then you could start moving the game into a competitive market which is basically like competitive multiplayer is what keeps games going after the enjoyment factors went essentially look at games like Call of Duty if Call of Duty didn't have competitive multiplayer the game would be nothing like it'd be a mediocre shooter at best um, Counter-Strike is pretty much competitive multiplayer like there's plenty of games that come out that like StarCraft campaign, brilliant competitive multiplayer is what makes it massive. So I don't know. I I enjoyed the game. I don't know if I reckon it's going to be like if they did uh, uh, implement a competitive multiplayer, it'd be quite a niche game in that regard. I don't think you're ever going to get like a massive following for it. But I reckon it'd be pretty big. I mean, I would play the shit out of it. Like <laughs> I enjoy the game. Um, anyway, let's actually get back to the game. How's our research doing? We've got a couple of days left. I've got a ton of points. Shall you, you. Let's show a point in you. Seven of you guys in the chromatograph. And then we can get going. 133 now every other day. Does that only make me 100 bucks? Are you kidding? No, it's made 200 bucks. Are you talking rubbish for? Cold and cough cases, gamma itch stopper. Demand for genital wart treatments. Ah, ah. Come on, guys, get your wee, get your Jenny what's out. 
Uh, that's a shame. Wow. That deficit, though. That deficit, though. That's redonkulous. That's redonkadonk. Redonkadonkulous. The loan interest, 14 grand. That's so crazy. <laughs> they aren't really doing much. I got a Soothe Rash that's an A. Damn, I don't even have a Soothe Rash. Never mind. Uh, right, how's the research doing, gentlemen? Ladies and gentlemen. Eight months? Ah, I keep doing that. I should, it's F1 to get to production. I know, man. I kind of fancy taking a loan, but then again, I kind of don't. Because we'll just fritter that away. And it's high interest rates, so if I take a loan now, it's just going to cost me more money in the long run. Whereas if I just wait out getting the uh, the stuff that I need, then we'll be sorted. Everything's actually going at a decent speed. It's only the stuff here that stops. I mean, there is nothing... I was just thinking there... Like, I always try to get that and then, like, flick it round and stuff, and... I don't know, I mean, there's nothing stopping me just doing another one of them, another aglo, another one of them, another... another evaporator, and then another pill printer, and then pulling it all together. I mean, there's no, there's no point, there's no... intrinsic need for me to shove the outputs together between that and another one. That might be a good way to do it. If I've got a bit more space, like over here, I might try that to get like two lots going. That might be a good idea, Stejo. You may be onto something. I'll see what we can do anyway. I just need to wait. I need to wait this six month. It's annoying. I can't like super speed or anything, but yeah. I suppose we kind of just get to see what's going on. I keep checking my loans. I've got six month on my loan, and I've got six month on this research. Yeah, so my loan's going to be paid off by the time that this research is done. That's annoying. I mean, I don't think it would take me long with the ingredients. Nah, I'm just going to leave it. But I could do something here. I want this this full space. I'll try to get uh, a double sickle cell anemia. Maybe even a triple. Ooh, baby, a triple. Depends on how long the chromatograph takes. Because that the chromatograph may take uh, three. It may take three indeed. I wonder what the syringe, I think it was the syringe injector took three. Uh, right, we've got a point. What can I put that in? I'll shove it in here. Hey, we actually had three points. I didn't realize that. Never mind. And I'll wait until I've got four points to shove in these ones. Ah, uh, we're saving a little extra money. This has been like 18 minutes of me doing nothing so far. Unfortunately, this has been a bit of a blah episode. You've got like, you've had a, a chat from Stigio. That's about it. But next episode, next episode's gonna be a doozy. Alright. And they've got a pre-pregnancy preventative or a female contraceptive. Female contraceptive. Give a fucking bell name. Gamma female contraceptive. No. Stigel's Perfect Pure Pre-Pregnancy Preventative. Take one before sex. Hmm, I wonder where the, the sweet spot is for that. Apparently reduces stroke risk is right where I've got it. 126 bucks profit, man. That's, that's nice. Nice! Probably shouldn't buy Stigel's anti-angina poop stopper. Just saying. Unless, of course, you do have the squits. I mean, it's not even good at treating angina, for fuck's sake. Uh, it's only marginally better at treating angina than it is at, like, stopping your squits. Squits stopper! The, uh, uh, what removal is not too bad. The Willy what remover. And that's great at freaking decreasing your blood pressure, but... It's also great if you've got the squits. Just saying. A blood pressure decreaser? How can I get rid of the squits on you? 13 to 17 and evaporate it. Ain't happening, my friend. Ain't happening, chummer. Bizarre. 
Is this the... is that the crap? No, this is the thing I'm using the most. Well, at least the price has been kind of stable. Stable. We're not really worrying about the price of those that much. Uh, we've got three points here, we need four. We've got two months left. I'm going to keep chilling in this episode until this is done. I know we've just hit the 20 minute mark. But, uh, yeah, we've waited long enough. Next episode, I'm just going to blast out the cure. But this episode, we get to wait two months. Now, what I'll do is I'll call off the episode and then I'll just let the simulation run until the two month is up or one month is up and then I'll bring you back. So, as always, thanks all for watching. I've been Steve, you've been awesome, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.